Greetings, my friends. Have not been in line for a long time, but finally decided to make a video. Recently, due to the corona outbreak throughout the world, I have been receiving multiple phone calls, text messages, and other methods of communication from people wanting to talk about it, curious what's going to come next, and what's going on. And as I look at my predictions that I made before, unfortunately they are coming true. I was truly hoping I was wrong, but as far as I see, right now things are collapsing incre incredibly quickly. It is amazing for me to see how quickly things have changed. And a lot of things that we have taken for granted before we no longer have or they are heavily restricted unfortunately i feel like this will continue to escalate until this until a certain point when i look at the christianity today in united states and throughout the world i see that many people have not valued the time that they used to have to come to church and maybe now, when the churches are closed or heavily restricted, they will appreciate the good times, the good days when they were able to do so without any restrictions from the government or the authorities. I trust you will value that time much more deeper when things return back to normal, if they will. One of the things that I see in many people, and unfortunately in many Christians as well, is pure fear. And it's interesting for me to see people who for many years have spoken about the good old days of Soviet Union, the persecution and how brave they were when things like that were happening. They are coveting in fear in a corner. Why? Why is that? Where are the good old days that you spoke of? Where is all the bravery that you used to show? Stuff like this shows me that all of these are just stories and fancies of your own heart. You really didn't have any bravery. If you did, you would have it today. You just tell the tales of your far gone past. And if you did have bravery, where did you go today? Did God change? Did Holy Spirit change? Did Jesus change? Not really, but you have changed. Times like these, they show the stability of your faith. They truly show where you stand. They show your foundation. And if your foundation is Christ, you're going to be okay. But if your foundation is something else, everything is not going to go well with you. Psalms 112 says following, Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandments. And uh, verse 7, he will not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. If you are afraid of evil tidings today, where was your trust before? Where did you place your trust? Because tidings that will come upon this world will become more and more evil as time will progress. You think things are going to get better? No, unfortunately they will not. That's very sad. I know we are so used to our good life and everything that we have. Or if it's taken away tomorrow. 
who will be your trust think about now I want to give a message of hope and message of encouragement to people today in the midst of this sea of confusion fear panic there is hope there's always hope first of all if you trust in God God promises to protect you to feed you to guide you to give you wisdom in this time he will take care of his own he will take care of his own he promises that and he will trust in him place your trust in him and if you do he's not gonna let you down he never ever ever let anybody down who trusted in him second as you spend time at home as countries and states go into shelter at home into quarantine reevaluate your life don't uselessly sit there and watch videos or do something stupid. Reevaluate your life before the Lord. Analyze it. Think about it. Fix what needs to be fixed. Repair what needs to be repaired. Find the Lord. Find the Lord. Search for Him. Prepare to meet your God. Prepare to meet your God. Because He's coming. And He's coming soon. And how are you going to meet Him? Thank you. God be with you. And protect you throughout this time.